In this video, I want to show you how we can start with an isosceles right triangle and find the exact values for the sine, cosine, and tangent all of 45 degrees. Okay, so if we have an isosceles right triangle, these two leg lengths are the same. We could call them one unit each. And the interior angles of a triangle add up to 180 degrees. And we know if this is a right triangle and this is a right angle, the 90 degrees are used up already. So we have 90 degrees left to divide between these two angles. And again, if this is isosceles, we know that these two acute angles are the same. So when we divide up that left over 90 degrees, each of these will be 45 degrees. Okay. So now we can find the length of this hypotenuse by using the Pythagorean theorem, which states that a squared plus b squared equals c squared, and our leg lengths are both 1, so we'll say 1 squared plus 1 squared equals the square of the hypotenuse. So 1 plus 1 equals c squared, of course 2 equals c squared, and when I take the square root of both sides, I'll see that the square root of 2 is the length of that hypotenuse. Okay, so let's just go ahead and write that in there. So the square root of 2 right there. Okay, so let's go ahead now and find the sine of 45 degrees, the cosine of 45 degrees, and the tangent of 45 degrees. Well, remember the ratio for sine is opposite over hypotenuse. So we can go from either angle. Let's go from this lower 45 degree angle. And so the opposite side will be 1. And the hypotenuse is the square root of 2. So I'll say 1 over the square root of 2. And of course, let's go ahead and rationalize that because we don't like to have the square root in the denominator. So when I rationalize, I'll end up with the square root of 2 over 2 for my sine of 45 degrees. Similarly, the cosine of 45 degrees will have a ratio that's adjacent over hypotenuse. And so if we go from this 45 degrees again, the adjacent side is also 1, and the hypotenuse is still radical 2. So it looks like I actually have the same thing. So it'll be the square root of 2 over 2. And finally, the uh, ratio for my tangent is going to be opposite over adjacent, so 1 over 1, which we can just say is 1. So here's how you can use an isosceles right triangle paired with the Pythagorean theorem to go ahead and find the exact values for all three sine, cosine, and tangent all of 45 degrees.